Sorry about that. My boo was calling, so I had to talk to him for a minute. I haven't seen him in a couple of days, but we are here at this cool cemetery. It's called Elms, Old Elms Cemetery. Kind of off the beaten path. Hi, Sharon. So this is a very old... Hey, Heather. So this is a very old cemetery. Um, so these are a little bit newer. These ones here. I'm a, I have my recorder on. Um, these are a little bit newer over here. And these ones, like that one doesn't even have anything on it, which is weird. Um, RR. I don't know what that means. I don't know what this is either. Otho only. If anybody knows what that means let me know um but like you'll see you can't hear me brought row <laughs> can you hear me heather this says henry little um and he died 1912 and he was 82 years old so subtract 82 from 1912 fix the flat oh yeah you're, yeah. Oh, you know what? It doesn't have a... It doesn't have a... Um, it's ripped. I'll just put it... Up there. See, there's one down here, too. I'll put both of them up there. Um... So, we have unknown. Um, unknown man. August 4th, 1913. And it says lime gas. Alright, let's see what she says. The battle did not go well for Otho. And to, and to prevent a civil war, Otho committed suicide. April 16th. 69 AD he was only 36 years old concerning the emperor's death um, I don't think that's the same guy you'll hear screaming in the background that's the school I'm near the school um I said I have my recorder going so we have and here's this I don't know what lime, lime gas. I don't know if somebody can look up lime gas. But um, here's unknown man, April 19th, 1911, drowned. It's a little sad. Somebody drowned, but they didn't even know who it was. Hmm. I don't know. Um, let me go over here. This one died in 1892. She was 56. Let me see. I love this cemetery. I know that sounds weird. This just says infant. And then uh, let's go over here. Sabrina would love this uh, cemetery. For sure. I don't know why somebody's stopping here. Just keep going. I just want everything to myself. Is that too much to ask? So this lady died in 1883. She was 85 years old. Hi, Tom. died 86 he was 86 years old but he died in 1882 that's how old these stones are or how old this is um
died 1879, 1880. John Geis. I wonder if there are any relation to my friends. I'll have to ask. Remind me. John, I'm going to take a picture of it. So I remember. Oh, crap. I have friends in town with that last name. Um, can't read that. That's a shame. Mm. Isadore Kiefer. Charlotte. Child of Sarah. That's a shame. I wish I could fix that. The little guy. Um, then you have some out here. Is a door. Is a door kefir. Um, died 1899, 1899. Um, died, that's a Little puppy. <sighs> hey, Bethy. Beth, you would love this cemetery. I think me, did me, you, and Mike come here? I think me and you and Mike came here. Unknown man died 1896. Eighteen ninety seven. George Distler. This is a very I can't post a picture of um Yeah, this is um John Jones, eighteen ninety four. 18, 1894. 1895, 25 years. These look fairly new over here. Yeah. There's no markers. That's weird. Why aren't there markers? Does anybody know why there wouldn't be markers? Just these. I mean, 1916 to 2000, 1922 to 2000. That's weird. Just these little things here. 1994. So that's fairly. So these are like, but I don't understand these little things. If anybody knows, oh, that's a shame. Uh, maybe. Monahan Service, Andrew Edwards, 1929, 2008, maybe, I mean, I don't know, I mean, like, like, aren't they potter's fields, though, like, when people... That's the thing that I don't get. Like, how do you, how's, how do, how's there unknown buried here? Like, who paid for that? And then you have people here that have names and stuff like that, but don't have the markers. But then you have unknowns that have stone markers. Excuse me. That was me. 
erected by friends. That's nice. That is a potter's field. Oh, it is? Huh. Interesting. Thanks, Heather. So, I, but I thought a potter's field. Well, I guess so. That one was erected by friends. Um... Maybe that's why. Okay. Old Alms House. It's Old Alms. Yeah. Old Alms Cemetery. Old Alms House Cemetery. Yes. I did not know this was a potter's field. That's pretty cool. I, I love. I've always wanted to be in a, a potter's. It sounds really weird. But I did. Like. Because I feel like these people never get visited. Whether these people are here or not. But you know what I'm saying. Like nobody ever pays respect. Pays respects to these people. So that explains my unknown. Yeah, I didn't think of it. I didn't know it was a potter's field. Um, or else I would have. Maybe me and Megan could come back out later and bring some flowers. But um, th that explains the unknown man d drowned. And uh, there's an unknown man here. It says lime gas he must have died from that i don't know and uh you know um again i have my recorder on so troubled what i wonder what they mean by that i'll have to look at the link later uh, we have a potter Potter's Field near me on Dunks Ferry Road. It's, it's all, mostly people from Byberry, from what I understand. That's cool. Okay, cool. Thanks, Heather. You're so awesome, Hev. You should be out here with me. <laughs> so, yeah, this cemetery is really, really, really cool cemetery. Um... Let's um let's see what this description says over here. Or do you want me to stay in the cemetery? I feel like I feel like I'm being pulled over here. Like like I feel like there's, you know, either an energy or something you know, something here. I just wish so many cars would stop coming down here. So, um, hi, Bob. Me and Allison did an EBB recording session one year near me. I believe she talked about it when she was on the brew. We kept getting the word nurse, but that was years ago. That's cool. Hello, my name's Taryn, and I'm visiting from New Jersey, and I know you don't get much visitors, so if anybody's here and wants to talk, please uh, feel free. I have a little recorder in my hand that I'll be able to hear what you say later. I'm sorry that you were buried and forgotten. I hope your souls are at peace. For being forgotten though, the cemetery does look like it's cared for, for sure. Somebody takes care of it, right? You just need to pick up the flags and pick up the stones that have fallen over. Yeah, it's less bugs. Later on when we're in the inn, though, that'll be cool. What's this lady doing? She's on a mission. All right, stop. Stop. 
it really is overwhelmingly sad. It, it really is. But I mean, at least some of these people did really, I mean, I don't know who would have paid for unknown mans, but those people over there are, are you know, pretty, pretty newer and, uh, they only have those little green, those little green plaques. Oops. So, um, not quite sure. It's, that's sad too, just to have a little green, a little green plastic plaque. But I mean, at least it's a proper burial and it's, you know. Yeah, maybe, maybe, the, maybe they did. That you can't, there's nothing on that one. I can't even see it. I gotta put my umbrella up. I mean, it's not raining hard. Look at this. How cute is this? It's not raining hard, but. I might melt. Yeah. Very sorry. I love this cemetery. Yeah, but Heath, they were like from 2000. It's been almost 20 years, you know? Like, oh, uh, okay. So you're saying that, that okay, maybe. That's a, that's a good thought. Let's think of that. That's a good thought. That's a good thought. I mean, people come here. I mean, look, there's money on top of some of these stones. You know? Um, and there's flowers. I mean, they're dead, but there are flowers at every single... In front of every single one. So, I mean, people have done that. That's over here. Um, so, I mean, I'm, I am seeing that people do come. It doesn't have room. Look at that. Do you like when people come and, and visit? No. Uh, makes sense. I mean, somebody takes care of it, right? So that's a good thing. I mean, you should see some of the cemeteries back in New Jersey. I mean, God, the ones that are left. 75 years usually is the, mar the, 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 the date of when somebody, they stop. Um, this is part of the, part of the parks, but sometimes, you know, they, um, that's like, that's the whole cemetery right there so far. Um, let's see what happened back here. Let's see what happened back yonder. I've only come to the cemetery. Hmm. So, Brigadier General Francis Barlow and Ames arrived July 1st about 10.30 a.m. and went into position on, the, on a hill about a mile north from the town left extending July 2nd about 8 p.m. was attacked by Hoax and Hayes brigades which swept up the batteries at the top of the attack. Huh. Casualties killed nine officers, 113 men. Wow. Wounded 46 officers. 630 men captured or missing. 15. 
officers was 492 men, a total of 1,306. It's a lot. That's a lot. So, I really think that I, so I have a, so I, I remember feeling like I have such a connection here, right? Um, and um, through digging, and it was hard digging. So, if anybody else is good at this stuff, that would be great because I am not. I found that there is a woman buried in Gettysburg. Now, her last name was not Kerper. But it was a hyphenated Kerper. So where was, who was she married to and then buried in, Getty, in Gettysburg? Um, her name, her first name, ironically, her first name was Linda. That's my stepmother's name now. Her name is Linda Kerper. But this woman's name was Linda, and then I can't remember the name, and it was hyphen Kerper. And she was buried in Gettysburg. I would like to find... Maybe I could do find a grave. I don't know. I'm not good at that stuff. But maybe I could do find a grave and see if I can't get out and see where that is. I would love that. Sometimes, yeah. Whoa. Psycho. A lot of people speed through here. Oh, somebody's letting their dog poo poo back behind the potter's field. Okay, cool. Um, I can't even remember where I got it from. It was just, I, I was looking up my last name K-E-R-P-E-R, -E -R -P -E -R, and Gettysburg, and I was just trying, because my dad's side of the family are all from Pennsylvania, so anybody with the name of Kerper in Pennsylvania, I am related to. The Daniel, I'm related to Daniel Boone, and um, the Kerper homestead butts up against the Boone homestead, um, the Boone farm, Daniel Boone farm. Everybody wants to come here now. Um... So, I mean, a Kerper in Gettysburg probably wouldn't have been too, but I, I got to find that connection. I have a connection here, and I don't know what it is, but there is a connection here. And like I said, I was able to find Linda something Kerper, and, but I just don't know who it was that she was married to, to have the hyphenated Kerper. So, what is that dude doing? Is he peeing too? Yeah. Maybe. But I found that. I can't remember how I found that. I, maybe I'll go on the find a grave. But yeah, so here's that awesome cemetery. I don't know what that dude's doing back there. It's weird. We need the something. So, like I said, this is, um, if you guys want to check it out, it's Howard Ave in um, Gettysburg. Um, and it's called Old Elms House Cemetery. And it is, hi Kevin. How are you? Yeah, so there's old, oh, I still have my recorder going. Let me turn that off. Hi, Gina. <clears throat> so that was a pretty cool spot. A potter's field um, in Gettysburg. And um, why isn't my... Oop, there we go. So we just checked out a potter's field in Gettysburg, and now we are going to venture to um, Saks Bridge and 
<laughs> we just left a potter's field. If you, if you and Bob ever want to come check it out, it's Old Elms House Cemetery. And then at 7 o'clock, we're doing an investigation at the inn at Lincoln Square. And at right now, I am heading to Saks and um, the John Eisenhower Bridge, a.k.a. Suicide Bridge. So... These were places that I tried going to last night, but one, it was too dark, and two, there was a bunch of maroons that were trying to ruin my time there at Sexbridge. So I'm gonna go to Sexbridge now and walk down and show you guys where the suicide bridge is, AKA, I mean, it is the John Eisenhower Bridge is the, the real name for it. What? Get off of my, what are you doing? Um, good luck, Bethy. You'll do fine. That's awesome. Good for you. So, um, I am going to, I'm going to go off now and then I'm going to be back, uh, when I get to sex bridge. Um, I was thinking peach orchard too, but um, I think we'll see where we're at um, because um, I gotta meet up with Meg too. Megan's gonna be meeting up with me shortly. So um, I will be back. Love you guys.